Hey you guys, so we're inside today and I figured it would be a perfect opportunity to show you some updates on my succulents. So they've been growing really well since we brought them home. We have tons of different kinds. So I grow a bunch of different types of succulents from, you know, trailing succulents to sedum succulents to echeverias. And this is one of the arrangements we put together. Now my burrito tail outside is falling apart because I did not transplant it well and I haven't been taking care of it too good. Now in the springtime here in Florida, we get really hot weather really quickly and the plants really feel it. So I really have to keep an eye out and be mindful of that soil and, and keep checking these leaves to make sure they're healthy can see just how healthy and plump these are. We just watered. They've been growing. We haven't had to supplement with our grow light yet. And this little burrito tail, look how healthy it is. See, we're not losing any foliage at all. And we are nice. It's good. You can see it's getting big. And then I'm going to bring you guys outside to show you how bad the other ones are doing. They're falling apart, honestly. Um, they totally fell apart on me, and I think I'm going to lose them, most of them anyway. So we're going to show you that. But all these other ones are doing really well. And we have um, our little aloe wand fleas that came back, guys. Remember the aloe wand fleas? We did a video on fixing the root rot. That happened on them remember they weren't growing roots at all well these little babies are so sturdy now that I can't even pull them out of the pot so if you tug on them a little bit you'll feel that they'll have a little give on them and that means that they're good to go they're rooted so you can start watering make sure you water when those roots are really dry and then you're good to go those roots will be nice and healthy they'll search for water and they'll start getting bigger now I'm gonna um, flip myself around here in another video so I can show you guys um, just a tour of everything all together and I'm um, just you know I wanted to come on here and do a little video on my succulents to let let you guys know that you are going to have to start watering just a little bit more. Here, let me go outside. We'll just go outside now. <laughs> Real quick, I wanted to make a stop at my kitchen table to show you guys. See them pots on the left there? I got those in the dollar store. They're terracotta, and I'm going to transplant those little succulent cacti thimble cactus right there. And then my bamboo, you can see, is acclimating really well. We lost about one or two each in each pot because they were on sale. We got them for $3 a piece. So that's amazing because they were $12 arrangements. So $3 a piece, I'll take them and I'll take a loss on two of them, you know, because I have so much more that I can use and put in another arrangement. There's five in there to six in there. They came with seven. So I have like five or six left and we're going to utilize those. We're going to save them. We're going to keep them healthy and they're growing really good out of that direct sun. They get a little bit of this sun back from, from this Eastern facing exposure inside and they stay on this kitchen table and they just enjoy it. You know, they don't get direct, direct sun all day long because then they'll burn. We'll go outside and I'll show you guys the succulents outside. All right, you guys, so we're outside, okay? And I'm bending down. I'm just gonna show you this burrito tail real quick. Look at the difference. Can you see all that foliage gone? I'm gonna do a video with myself out of this so I can show you all of the updates. My succulents are getting so big right now, guys. And you're gonna have to start watching the water and watching the food. Look at all that foliage missing on there. See that? That is from lack of water. So that one in the house is doing really well because she's inside and she's really plump. I've been watering that arrangement. This one I kind of forgot about because it was off to the side. So I have to make sure all my succulents are gonna be nice and healthy from here on out and they're just growing really well. They're, they're all growing, doing good. This is my little cutting that we did, took. I think this is a Graptopetalum ghosty, and this is a Graptocetum. So they're different, guys. I'm gonna show you this up close and personal so you can see. That other one is really pointy in the leaves. Look how much this arrangement's growing. See how much succulents grow? They're so pretty, I love them, and uh, I hope you guys like them too. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time in a little tour. Bye-bye.